Welcome to another Real Dad Movement Daily Revelation, where we talk about the health and fitness game and, oh man, how they have let you down. (laughs) Ah, the health and fitness game, mainstream health and fitness. Yes, this may not apply to everyone, but 99.9% of the time, this is true, this is what happens, and this is where they sit and stand. And ultimately, where they sit and stand is making a fast buck off the back of your failures, because if that wasn't the case, there'd be a higher level of energy, effort, and implementation to really help you in what you need to get the results that you need in your life, especially fathers. I mean, look at it this way. I can give you some pills, some shakes. I can prescribe a diet, nutrition plan, whatever the next template or quick fix or fat is, even a training regime. But the reality is when it's geared heavily towards making you conform to what it should be with expectations on a scope of time in two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, 12 weeks, ultimately you're up against the wall and you will not be successful. You will fail. Now I'm not saying you won't get a result or a response. Of course you will, but ask yourself this question. Is it the result or response that I truly need, want and desire off the back of not only achieving it, but achieving it in a way in which I can rinse and repeat and have sustainability in my life. I don't care about anyone else for that matter, but these fundamentals and principles ring true to all different walks of life. But for fathers, yeah, come on, let's be real. You don't have time or effort or the energy to look at sacrificing your life, whether it's living on rabbit food or just drinking shakes two to three times a day. And putting yourself in a position where I need to get this result, whatever it takes, I'll be extreme for this month. I'll take a before and after photo and then she'll be right, mate. All the while, what you're doing is patterning the wrong things inside of yourself, which are not sustainable, which leads to you feeling like a failure even more. Because when, not if, when you fall apart again, that's another thing that you haven't accomplished or been successful with in your mind, which creates this vicious cycle of it's just me. What's wrong with me? What's my problem? Now, look, you do have a problem, mate, because if you keep going on this cycle, it's ultimately, I think, um, either Edison, no, it might have been Einstein's definition of insanity, doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result. And ultimately, that is true, because what you're doing, regardless of the shiny object that the health and fitness game is posting or putting up in front of you, is you are doing a rinse and repeat in a vicious cycle, which has led to where you are right here, right now. Five months, a bit longer, five years, yeah, potentially. Come on. Put your hand up and be honest, 10 years, 15 years, like how long will this go for, mate, when you keep lashing out on yourself by reaching out to the mainstream health and fitness game and seeking the answer? Now, here's the breakthrough and the revelation for you and the reason why it isn't the answer. It doesn't change you. It doesn't change who you are at a core level. It doesn't change the man, the father, who was in a state more often than not, which led to the actions more often than not, which became the result and the experiences that life that he's living of where you are right now. So two things, why would you listen to the person who's telling you these things inside of your head that I need to do this, this, and this, when the voice is coming from a state of being that you're not happy with anyway. And secondly, why would you convince yourself otherwise from listening to that person and taking action on a quick fix or a solution over a four to 12 week even 16, 20 week period to look at it and go, yeah, that's the answer. That'll work this time, maybe this time. And, and let's, let's hope, let's have faith that it'll work. There's nothing wrong with hope or faith if used in the right light, but it all comes down to purpose. What are you trying to achieve? Is it something that you want with sustainability for your life over the long haul in the long term? Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but that's a form of gambling to me. And, And ultimately what you need to look at is you're not gambling your feelings. You're not gambling failures, successes, wins, challenges. You're gambling time, which you'll never get back. So that's already gone. But you're gambling your life and ultimately the leadership that you can lead and not just the quantity, but the quality of life you can live in taking the right appropriate actions of working on the internal first and the frameworks inside of you to really build out the external and the actions you take and the representations and the standards and leadership you hold in yourself, within yourself, now outside of yourself for those around you. And that's important. 
you're a father, man. Like this is, this is a responsibility, a duty, our obligation. It's not a pressure or a, or a burden. Yes, there are challenging and burden like moments. That's for sure. And hardships and adversities, they never end, but this is a beautiful opportunity to rise up and become more within yourself. And you will never get that with the health and fitness industry because they're making the next shiny object to show you off the back of your failures, because you've come around this vicious cycle again to give me some money, lose some more time, feel like a failure even more. And maybe next year will be the year. Why don't we set a new year's resolution this time? Oh yeah, that's right. 92% of people fail new year's resolutions in the first four weeks. I wonder what that percentage is for fathers when it can be even harder with less time and more challenges and responsibilities and roles. And the first, the top five of those are health and fitness related. And I wonder of the 8% of that is fathers. And secondly, I wonder what the percentages of that who make it past February, because I'm talking about the first four weeks, man, we're up against it, aren't we gents? We certainly are. But when you understand where you sit and where you stand and <laughs> sit and stand in the eyes of the health and fitness game in being a cash cow for them, then you have clarity. Then you look at it and go, well, yeah, it wasn't my fault, but a damn as well will be if I continue to follow in this cycle, because you're in the rut, you're stuck, in the pit, so to speak, and you just can't find a way out. This is your way out now by understanding and being clear on what the problem is, but also taking ownership and looking for the solution. And the solution, like I said, 99.99% .99 of the time, this isn't castrating one movement, business or company. This is as a whole, the deliverables, the lack of service that does not exist in helping understand who you are as a man and father, what you need specifically, personalized for you in your life. When you realize that, you can start looking for the real solution, the right way, the answer. Someone who understands and invests a high level of energy, purpose, and drive behind what it is that you need in your life to create the change you desire. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll meet you with another one soon. Cheers.